Eventually the job searching frustrated me. So I decided I'd wait until my money ran out and I was forced to find something new. I returned to the hotel pool swimming every day, pounding up and down, repeating the number of lengths I was up to in my head like a mantra. From the moment our mouths met and I'd forced breath into you, the way you sounded changed permanently. The manner by which you'd be heard in the world mutated. In that chlorine bubble, the complex arrangements of a control that defined voice shifted for both of us. My singing had always felt unnatural and somehow imposed upon me. But as I sat and read through to the end of the article, I knew I may not be able to sing again in the same way. My new sense of engagement with the world and my ability to speak out into my environment may evaporate as quickly as it had first appeared. I can only guess at what it felt like to be you, to find yourself speaking in a new voice, to perform in a new way. Right now, here, recording this, makes me think about coincidence. The unlikely connection between us as strangers. The lack of viability in this story. In any story, really. But this is a reality I can't manage to deny. A concurrence of events, an equivalence of experience, a baffling correlation between two people. And here I am driving, taking immense pleasure in your voice. I am not falling away.